Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for September 17th, 2017. Uh, got out there and I looked and looked and it was really hard to find stuff this weekend. Some weekends are like that. Uh, so not a, not a lot like uh, I normally have, uh, which is kind of a, a mixed blessing because uh, um, still got a ton of stuff to list uh, from the previous uh, weeks. Um, I, I could probably go to next month and do nothing but list and have enough stuff. Uh, but I did find some pretty cool stuff this week, even though not a whole lot of it. Uh, let me show you what I got. Okay, uh, picture. A couple coins, certificate of authenticity, uh, Authentic East India X cash and XX cash recovered from the sunken remains of the Admiral Garner, wrecked off the coast of England on January 24th, 1809. So, uh, pretty cool. I may keep them for myself, see what they go for. I'm sure there's plenty of other stuff out there. Uh, that was 25. Uh, the, um, uh, this whole box was 30. I'm assuming these are Civil War relics. Um, not sure what the hearts are. Um, uh, the letters are probably company uh, letters. I'm guessing. Uh, a few old buttons. Love the f I would love to find something like this myself. Um, but uh, I've had really good luck selling this stuff in the past. Um, hopefully they'll do well. We'll probably break them up into a couple groups. Uh, the fishing lures. Got the whole box. It's a neat box too. Like a little uh, first aid kit. Uh, that was 40 bucks for everything. Got a couple of uh, factory lures. But this is the guy that really um, that really caught my eye. Um, it's handmade. Uh, hand carved. Uh, just got a neat uh, folk art look to him. Uh, so we'll sell him by itself. This one's probably not as. This one's hand carved also, and not quite the detail of this one. And a few others in here. There's a, a flatfish, and uh, that looks like a regular one there. Uh, that looks like hand carved uh, with a uh, with a spinner. Uh, so we'll try calling them uh, folk art, break them up, and uh, uh, may try a really high price on that. Uh, see what happens. It's got a, got a cool look. Oh, here's another one. Uh, I like the. Uh, it always it's a top water lure, so I always wondered why people decorated the top of a top water lure. The fish will never see it. It's floating on top of the water. Uh, Cool piece, so this might put took some time. Uh, quick loader. I have no idea what it's for. I assume it's for a gun. Um, is that for BBs or is that for powder? Um, American Can Company. Uh, cool piece. Uh, five bucks on that. The, I'm assuming that's the victory pin, submariner victory pin. Uh, not not sure. Got it with a bunch of other submarine stuff, uh, which I'll show you later. Uh, the badge lot, this entire badge lot, 140 bucks. Uh, my hope is that uh, some of these turn out to be halfway decent. Let me go over some of them with you. Uh, this one just a it's just a plain old security badge, but it's got a nice weight to it hallmarked uh, This is pretty neat. It's um, US Naval Gun Factory um, 1799 1949 uh, Looks like it's made out of a, a shell pretty cool there uh, part a lot two of these some kind of buckle, not quite sure what kind of buckle, looks military. Uh, Provost, Marshal, Police, 
hat badge, I'm assuming. Uh, Conservation Committee of Maryland Deputy Game Warden. Uh, something like, you never know, something like that could be a sleeper. There's one that looks like it's been carried a lot. Uh, National Distillers uh, Division. Um, Got to look that up. Here's another one. Guard Frankfurt Distillers. Uh, this one I got a feeling might be a reproduction. California Electric Company. I seem to recall them uh, reproducing this one. And uh, three, a uh, couple hat badges and a regular badge uh, for the post office. So uh, I don't think I'm going to lose any money. It's just a question of how much money I'm going to make on those. Uh, the radio bought it sight unseen, 15 bucks. If it's in good shape, still with uh, still in the original packaging, it's about a 75 dollar radio right there. Silver Ghost, good profit there. Uh, five dollar uh, matchbox uh, Leslie uh, steamroller made in England, uh, straight razor. Normally don't buy these. I've been burned on these in the past. Some of them do really well, and some of them do really bad. Uh, some of them never sell. Got a little bit of an opening error. I don't know if they meant that or uh, or what, but uh, I like the uh, the mark on the handle. Real red point uh, razor. So cool razor there. Uh, that was ten on that razor, and I love the little bird. Uh, pocket knife. Uh, five bucks on the uh, bird pocket knife. A uh, guy had a whole blanket of stuff. He's like dollar for anything on a blanket. And uh, he got a Coke uh, pop top uh, bottle opener. And as soon as I pick it up, he's like I, I knew that would go first thing. And uh, pretty neat cast iron hook. Uh, really well done. Uh, probably keep that for myself. Um, K-Bar Knife, USMC, uh, somebody, I don't know if they did it on purpose, they uh, bent the guard back. Um, I'm going to do my best to bend it back in, uh, in shape, but uh, good usable knife, nothing really old or anything. 25 on that, which is kind of high considering its condition. I can't help myself when it comes to good knives, so. Uh, jewelry find of the week uh, is a couple of dangle earrings. Uh, these are 18 karat gold. Um, they weigh 8.3 grams uh, for the pair. Uh, so 18 karat gold is going for $32 a gram. Um, that puts this around $260 for the pair. Uh, of course, take away a little bit for the stones. I was hoping that the stones would be um, diamond. Uh, but they're CZ. Um, I don't know why people would have 18 karat gold and put CZ in there. Maybe they were trying to uh, fool the person. Uh, but I got these for $200. And uh, so less than scrap price. Um, so we'll see what we can do with those. Um, uh, hopefully being CZ won't uh, hurt the sale. Uh, Raptor dog costume. I'm going to put this on one of the chihuahuas. <laughs> They'll probably hate me. i uh, have to get a video of that. Uh, whole box. Really love these things. Take a look. Uh, Neil Armstrong Homecoming, Man on the Moon, July 20th, 1969. It looks like a uh, space capsule. And there's the kids. Hey, William. All dressed up and nowhere to go. Hey, Beatrix. <laughs> uh, so you got a shot glass on one end, regular glass on the other. Uh, th these were five bucks a piece. Got the whole box, and uh, even 
the box is original. Uh, it turns out these things go for around 15. I may put 20 on them. They're kind of neat. I've never seen them before. Uh, my son Nathan got himself a photograph of Eisenhower talking to the uh, paratroopers the uh, um, the day before uh, D-Day. A little bag of G.I. Joe guns uh, for herself. Zippo lighter, 20 bucks, but it is pristine uh, to the USS Santa Barbara. Uh, probably a $50 uh, lighter right there. Love the old hip flask. Um, it's definitely been carried. Um, got the opening on both ends, I guess, to wash it out or something. Uh, that was... Uh, Tana paid for that. Kind of an unusual piece here. Uh, Air Corps dates it. Air Corps Air Transport Command, World War II. United States of America. Um, that was five bucks. A couple belts. The, uh, not sure if it's Chinese or Russian, but uh, with a star on the buckle. Uh, no writing or anything, kind of cheaply made. Uh, that was 15 for the pair. Another Zippo lighter. And uh, the uh, keychain there is uh, Sterling. That was uh, 20 bucks for that lot. Um, probably less than separate. Uh, the big buy of the day. I uh, got this entire box of uh, photographs. Uh, for 50 bucks, a uh, bunch of photos that all I can show you is the front. The rest aren't fit for uh, YouTube. Um, but uh, we'll break them up into groups. A uh, big pack of uh, pinup playing cards, uh, commissioning, paper, pamphlet for the... Uh, USS Richmond Turner, uh, 1964. A uh, whole bunch of um, photographs that I can't show you. And these I can show you. Let me uh, go through. Uh, they're hand signed. Uh, E-O-H. Uh, Ed Hoppy and uh, take a look. Kind of surprised me when I looked on Worth Point, and I know I mentioned Worth Point a lot, but you know, um, I use it a lot. It, it works for me. Um, people don't like paying a ten dollar monthly fee, uh, but it makes me money. So here we go. Uh, Emil, Emil, Otto Hop photograph, one photograph, two seventy-five. Here's another one, uh, signed E.O. Hop, one fifty-six. There's another E.O. Hop, sold for one fifty. Another photograph, sold for a hundred. And I have a bunch of them. Here's this one, that one, this one isn't signed, it looks like his work, uh, that's a nice one there, that should bring good money, that one too, uh, here's the submariners, uh, we got a guy with the uh, beard Another EO Hop. Official press release. Copyright in USA. Please acknowledge cameo portrait by EO Hop. The uh, dancing girl. Dita Parlo, a young film star who is appearing in the new play the F the girl in the mask huh the p 
picture it looks like an original of uh, Hitler and Mussolini um, a tribal kid this is another one looks like uh, EO Hop uh, this one EO Hop interesting uh, here's the uh, that's probably oh no it's Battleship Rochester um, here's a submarine and a car a car uh, that'll do it so um, lost track of how many of these uh, pho photographs are in there but it uh, should be good Beatrix where are you going Beatrix you better get up here So there you go. Uh, keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99. Eventually, this stuff will get listed. Uh, we'll put a good weekend this week and uh, see what happens. So, until next time, this will your sales five list. We'll talk again soon.